Hi guys, Hopefully, um, as you guys can see my hair is wet because I've just washed it because my organic and my powder from Honey and Barrett finally came. So what we are going to do is we're going to put one aside and I'll stick it on there and we are going to make a hair mask. I'll just the knot with it for my hair. I've heard this shit stinks. They don't make it easy, do they? Oh yeah, that also sounds more nice. I'm going to use the glass bowl that I use my henna in. And I have some boiling water, so... Yeah, this looks just like henna. Smells what much worse It looks like and you'll also need a shower cap and something to stir it with. You can add essential oils and stuff into this as well. I'm going to add my favourite one currently, which is camilla oil. is off the thick side now hopefully people say roughly that your hair can change colour if you do not use organic now mine is completely organic and I should be roughly because it's from Holland and Barrett. See? No, that's an okay consistency. So it smells like freaking baby food. Um, I know roughly this can be quite drying. So I'm going to take pure Camilla oil just to help with the drying effect. As you guys can see I'm applying quite a fair amount and to help with the smell because this actually smells worse than henna. Yeah I know. rose hair. This literally smells like, you know um, when you're feeding your baby at certain months and you've got, is it the 
dessert, it smells like apple. It's that. Right. Right, that's helped with the smell a little bit. It's not as powerful. That's how much I'm going to use because for one Nietzsche I have a medium to thick hair density and I want it where it's slightly runny but it's not. You are also going to need gloves. It also reminds me of baby sick. So what I'm going to do just move that out of the way. <sighs> Dust some of that stuff off. Let that settle for a bit because there's a few lumps and clumps and I know you have to let it settle. I'm about to get my gloves. I use the Shea Moisture Biting 7 in 1 um, for my hair today, roughly. So I'm going to get my water bottle as well. I'm not going to move those. just going wild I could even just do a fringe like this this year <laughs> I also broke a nail in the shower it was this year tugging at my friggin hair which was starting to hurt these are the small ones some of the lumps are just there but you can see in my hair my curls kicking in already to help just to detangle I can see a ringlet 
China form. Chlorine E, you are not needed. Ringlets. Ow, not at all. Now, people say with and the powder, we'll feed that. Um, if you do not want basically it to change or alter your colour, I mean, it still might, or you have to wait two to three weeks. But I'm not bothered if it turns down some of this red. So I'm just gonna. My hair is literally slapping that. Try not hitting the glove. It doesn't take me ages to detangle my hair because my hair is not really that thing that needs a bit more. It's not really that tangled. I know it looks it, but yeah. to tangled and only a few pairs in here. Pull up to the side, grab your glasses because we still need this to cool down. I'm obviously going to get more hair on the back and wearing gloves. She looks like henna. It smells is still bad. But so there are people that say well flay um because I watched this one YouTube box I was checking up at by if it really helps with curly hair to spring back your curls. And there's this girl that puts it in a mask but she didn't like how runny it can be because as you guys can see it's thick but it's runny in its natural state and then I saw a comment saying that they used it in its natural state with just water and they just made a, a, a little bit of a thicker batter and um, it basically sprung up their curls quite easy now my curls I might change my top quickly um, my curls basically they have sprung up but I have a lot of ringlets I did a lot of research last night let me just quickly change my top first because I don't want this ruined yeah like I was saying you guys have seen that my hair has ringlets in a lot of areas but in other areas it has basically curls and some of them are a little bit loose but like I says my hair is in one sense still going to be in transition so this is she smells I know it's my baby's hair and that fucking it smells like what my niece used to eat and all my nephews but um I'm just waiting for it to cool down a bit more but after some research last night I discovered that a lot of my hair is type 3B where it is quite ringlety and I have 3A curls as well because I have curls that are curling near the root and then the more like a wave at the bottom so that's 3A but with some of those 3A curls some of them are starting to ringlet at the root so I don't know if my hair could be all 3B because you can have more than one curl pattern so I'm not going to use this brush I'm going to use my hands and we are going to get started I'm basically putting 
I'm sick in my hair. In my hair. Ugh. Right, I'm just gonna wet it down a bit more. There's no snags or snarls. Okay, take your baby sick <laughs> and let's get to it. It's just like Emma. Smells so much worse than I. Don't forget the roots, people. Don't forget the roots. Because I'm using it in its natural state or fit, yeah, I've added a bit of oil, but I'm doing that just so that it's not as drying. Because just like henna or fit, apparently this can very badly dry your hair out, and I'm getting the same effects like I do with henna. Is where you are putting it on your hair or fit because it's not very conditioning and you guys seen that my hair or flay was detangled I'm getting snugs and snarls now what I'm going to do is well because this is going to be like just like Anna um, I am not going to wash this out I'm going to leave this to develop in my hair until I next wash it. You want the mixture to basically be like a can pancake batter, but um, I've decided to go a little bit thicker because I don't want it too runny, but as you guys can see, she's runny but she's not too runny. Like I said, if it takes some of my cold redness in my hair out, I'm okay with that roughly because if it helps spring back and help fix up some of my curl pattern, I think I've made too much better. softer now the more I apply but oh god it's just the smell it's good job I put those powder um the, that essential oil and because I love oh it's gone on me it's gone on me it's gone on me this to me is gonna be as messy as henna to do 
is once you've applied this you need to leave this on your hair for half an hour or to an hour I'm technically going to do half an hour and um, I'm going to rinse as much of this as I, as I can I definitely prefer the smell of henna over this this shit just stinks Um, I ha I'm going to leave this in my hair for half an hour, I don't want it any longer hopefully because for one it stinks and I cannot wash this you're not supposed to wash this out let's start on the back Is it going to be as heavy as I know that's the difference? Now you can use this weekly in your hair or if you're like me hopefully make it a monthly treatment if it works. It definitely tangles up your hair. smells literally like the baby food that my sisters and brother hopefully did for their kids so I definitely definitely recommend hopefully uh, adding essential oil or something but I, what I will do is once it's time to rinse it out I will style my hair and you guys will see what it looks like before. I'm not expecting instant results, but maybe a little bit of something just to help out a lot of the curls. I also looked on the Hannah suck website and because they do amla powder they recommended to use um, amla as well in its natural state so make sure you, yeah this is i don't think i'm gonna be able to get a comb i'm gonna brush through this because this shit is hella yeah i'm struggling the worst. I will take the smell of ground up leaves from henna 
over this man. Now, the reason why I'm wearing gloves is because I don't know if it's going to stain my hands. And the last henna I did stained my nails. It is better that you go in with your hands because you can get more done. I have a medium to thick consistency. I have type 3B curl pattern with while I'm transitioning type 3A curls as well. Because my hair, even though roughly a lot of my ill, a lot of my ringlets have come out back and um, out, my hair will be still a class as in transition until all my curls are healthy again. And I'm now at the point where because my ringlets are, I can see my ringlets and when my hair is styled with hair gel and stuff, I don't mind styling my hair now. Oh, this is just as heavy as henna. Um, I don't mind styling my hair buffly now, buffly to actually embrace my chilly curly hair now. Buffly, I'm also going to I'm also going to be trimming my hair once every three to four months because, like I said, all the bad damage, bad 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 damage from ble the bleach that I had done at the salons and um, what I officiated to myself that I officially went as well okay that's that is disgusting butter basically mixed up She looks like I'm putting baby food on my head. Now when it comes to stuff like this, I like to get in here with my hands, but I will wear gloves. For sure.
are going to look like every dinner leader. Move that aside. Just clean up because it went everywhere. I mean. Ew. 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 As you guys can see, it's gone on here. the heat in. And to contain the nasty smell. Trusty timer. Mine's from e Salon. Half an hour. Begins now, and I will see you guys um, when I've washed it out and we see the results if it's helped with my curls. Bye.